What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So after popular demand, I'm finally bringing you a tutorial on how to make spawn using the in-game customizer in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first off, obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to choose a brand new character slot. You can see I've already made Hybrid, the Symbiote, Green Arrow from DC Comics, and of course, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Now, of course, we're going to be making Spawn. Now, I need to make this really clear, okay? I am fully aware of the character of Spawn. I've always known who Spawn is but I've never known a lot about him, so I've had to do a lot of research on this character to get him right, because I know who Spawn is, I just didn't know all of his powers and things like that, so I've had to do a lot of research, so if I get anything wrong, I do apologize, but you know, I've done my best. But I think this actually turns out really good, and I think you guys are gonna like it. So, first off, I know Spawn uses weapons in the comics, like guns and swords and things like that. We're not gonna be doing that today, we're gonna be focusing on the magic and things like that because I thought that looked much cooler the way I made it you know the guns and that if you want to go for that totally fine but I just thought he looks much cooler without them in my opinion in this game at least I mean spawn looks amazing in every piece of art I've seen right so let's get rid of that bow tie first so for the head now the head that I went with you know I've seen other faces of spawn like from other comic pages and stuff where his head is very much like venom you know, he's got teeth and things, but I kind of like this one. You know, I know it does... No, it's not that one, sorry. My bad. This one. Now, if we make that black, I know it doesn't have the green eyes, but neither does really any of them. You know, that's kind of the best you're going to get, and it has the, what, the big white eyes, so I think that's cool. I think that looks really, really nice. The next thing you want to do is we're going to move on to the body because you don't need any hair, helmets, attachments. I don't think you need an attachment. thing is, we're going to be having a cape. So if we add an attachment, we're not going to have a cape, which is definitely not what we want. So we're going to go to body next. And the body that I settled on is actually Black Bolts. I think that looks pretty good. Now for the arms, you know, I've seen from a different, you know, different comic panels and things like that, Spawn's arms can sometimes just be full on black, but I really liked how some of them were a little bit more detailed than that, so he had like black at the top and red at the bottom, you know, he had like guards on his arms and stuff. I thought they looked really, really cool, so I wanted to go for that. Again, you can go for black arms if you want, but I just thought that looked really, really cool. So we'll stick with that one. And then for hands, we're gonna go with black. There we go, very nice. For the hips, we're gonna go with, if I can find it, I believe it's like, I think it's uh, this one. Yeah, Electro Noir. I think that looks kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of the chain a little bit. You don't have to use that, but I just think it makes it a little, little bit more detailed, you know. For the legs, we're gonna go with, I th believe these ones are right at the top. They are this one, yeah, Adam Warlocks. We're gonna go with Adam Warlocks because that looks really cool. Now. Right there, he kind of looks like a Spider-Man custom character in a way. I can understand that. But as soon as you put the cape on, he actually looks like Spawn in my opinion. So, there are a few different ones. You could go with this one if you want. That's kind of cool. But I think his cape is just red uh, from what I could see. If I've got that wrong, I do apologize. But it seems to me like you want the highest cape. You know, you can go between this one, which is straight top, and this is pointed top. And I believe pointed top is the one we're going to use. And look at that. Look at that. I think that looks pretty cool. I really do. I think that looks very, very nice. So that is, of course, the design done. So we've done all of the appearance here. Now we're going to be moving on to the abilities. So for passive abilities, let's see here. So what can we give him? Well, let's start at the top. So mind control. We definitely want to give him mind control and magic. I think he can do mind control. I saw something about how he said it said that he could rewrite people's memories or something. That's pretty much mind control. I mean, it's close to it. So we'll have mind control. I'm not sure if you give him techno access, but I'll leave that out just because I'm unsure. Uh, crack Lego walls. Yes, he's very strong. We want him to deflect things, so we definitely want that as well. Then we have what else we got? We got fix it. Eh, we'll leave that. Vine cut. I mean, he's strong, so. 
yeah, just let him cut vines, I guess. Super strength, definitely. Time manipulation, yes. He's a very, very powerful character, and I had no idea about this. I mean, it makes me want to do more research into Spawn, because he's a pretty cool-looking character and has tons of abilities. So we've done super strength and uh, time manipulation. Rune tracing, I mean, that's more of a Doctor Strange thing, but you've got portal create and you've got time manipulation. You might as well have rune tracing as well, you know, just to add to it. Dig, teleport, and tracking, I think you should have them as well, because it seems to be like he's not a detective as such, but like it looks like he looks into crimes maybe or something. Like I said, I don't know a lot about Spawn. I'm just kind of doing this for you guys because I know how many of you have requested this character. So hopefully, you know, you like this version. So tracking, teleport, dig, rune tracing, portal create, time manipulation, super strength, vine cut, deflect, crack lego walls, mind control, magic, and that's it. So that is all the passive abilities. Now we're going to move on to tap square so with tap square i went for bolts and yep just make sure that's on uh, i don't think we need bolt targeting because we're going to do something else for that we're going to do both hands don't worry about that i'll sort that out later when you see in the gameplay he won't fight like that um but for bolt style i believe i went with bolt style four i think yes bolt style four that's it i mean there's different ones but I like that one. And then if you make it this color, it looks a lot like, you know, the comic pages you see of Spawn when he's got power in his hands and stuff. I think that's the perfect color for it. There's this one as well, but no, that just, as soon as I saw that one, that's the one that just fits it perfectly. Absolutely perfect. Um, I just go with heat bolts. For some reason, silver bolts attacks don't seem to be working at the moment, so I'll just go with heat bolts. Bolt color, yeah, that's all fine. Make sure it's both hands, and yeah, I think that's it. We don't need bolt targeting because we're going to go to hold square, and we're going to have targeted lunge because he's very fast. So, you know, you can have him charging towards enemies and stuff like that. Then we're going to go to circle, and for tap circle, we're going to have stealth. Now, the interesting thing about stealth is I believe the suit itself can actually make him turn invisible, but in this game... You know, with this character creator, it doesn't actually do that. It more gives him, you know, it, it gives your custom character like a machine. And they press it and then they turn invisible. So it's up to you guys if you want that or not. But I know stealth's a very big part of the character, so I thought I would, you know, check that. There's also explosion attack, force field, fighting. And we know that he can teleport, so you could have, you know, quick teleport if you want. But, I don't know, should we have stealth? I'm now second guessing, you know, trying to think maybe I should have quick teleport. I'm not sure if he has a force field. Uh, I guess I will go a quick teleport. Because that seems cooler. Because the stealth isn't that accurate to what he has. You know, he, like I said, I think the suit itself turns him invisible, not a machine. So we'll go with that. Then for circle, we want a hold circle. You want explosion style. So for explosion style, we're going to go with this one. And then again, if you change the color of it to this... That just looks like spawn colors, you know, like the magic. It just looks awesome. I can't stop pressing that. It looks that cool. Yeah, very nice. Then heat explosion, we'll have that. And yeah, I think that's it. So that is all of those abilities sorted. So we've done passive, we've done square. So tap square, just checking just to see if I've done everything. Yeah, circle, tap circle is a teleport. Hold circle is explosion attack. X, right, for X, so obviously you're not going to web swing. Although I will tell you guys a thing, so obviously Spawn has a chain, and you can actually have a chain if you do that, and you go with, say, this color, I guess you could say. If you have that, and then you go up to a grapple thing, he will actually grapple with the chain. The only thing is you'll be a web swinging character, and obviously Spawn's known to fly. So we're going to stick with flight, but that's just another thing you guys can do if you want to be able to grapple things with the chain you can go with that instead but we're gonna go with flight and we'll go with uh, hyper jump as well just so it adds to it and that's pretty much it for all the powers uh sorry the abilities and the appearance like i said we're not going to give them weapons in this one you guys can totally do that if you want to but i just think you know for the the build that we've created and the cool magic effects and that i just think that's better than having guns basically or a sword um although you could you know make the square button 
the sword and then circle the attacks or whatever. But no, I'm I'm happy with the one I went to went with. Okay, so for the health icon, we'll go with we'll just go with black, and then health type we want to be invulnerable. For the voice, we'll just go with any voice. We'll just yeah, we'll just go with any voice. Doesn't really matter now. They, it says online that he is fast. Like I don't know if he speeds to fast, but he's you know he's he's got super speed basically. So I guess you could either go with fast or super fast. I think this character is really overpowered, and I love that. So I'm gonna give him super fast just because I love the fact how powerful he is. And plus, when you're shooting the bolts and stuff, it'll be really really fast. So it'll look pretty cool. And then the target reticle. I think we'll go with that because it matches the outfit quite nicely. And I believe that is it. We've done the abilities, the appearance, the weapons, the passive traits. Now, miscellaneous, we're just going to call him Spawn. There he is. Spawn. Boom. Very nice. And then we'll go with... How about... I think we'll go with that because that looks pretty sweet. So there you go. That is my custom-made spawn in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop him into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made spawn in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And I've got to say, guys, I am really happy with how this one turned out. He looks awesome. And when you use his powers, it's, it's extremely cool. I mean, it honestly feels like I'm playing as a LEGO spawn. Beyond cool, guys, honestly. I really hope you like this one as much as I do. So, let's see. What, what can he do? Well, we got the charge attack where he can run towards people. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, we run up here. We can see we've got uh, we've got these attacks, which just bring it all together. I mean, when I see him shooting those specific blasts, oh, it looks so cool. Love it. Look at that. Awesome. And then if we hold circle, we do it right now. Look at that. So cool, man. So cool. And I believe that's it. I mean, we gave... Oh, yeah, we gave him a teleport as well. How fares your aim? Perhaps you might mount the cannon. And there you go. That's a demonstration. And of course, we gave him flight as well as super jump. Oh, man. He's such a powerful character. It's so fun to actually make a really powerful character in this game. You know, I'm very specific about the things I pick. But with Spawn, he just he can just do so many things. So it was great to actually make a character like this. So we're going to fly about, see what we can find. And this one's a doozy. Is it me or is that cape changed? Yeah, that's weird. Look at that. When you're standing still, the cape looks like that. And when you fly, it looks like that. Very strange. Very, very strange. But oh well. Still cool. Getting bored of waiting for something to fight. Oh, I got you then. Yes. Oh man, I'm having so much fun right now. Alright, let's see who else we can take down as spawn. Yeah. I do. This is sick. This is one of my favorite creations yet, if I'm honest. Because I love how powerful he is. So cool. We can pick up cars as well if we want to. There we go. Pick up cars and chuck them. We can run super fast. So powerful, man. So powerful. <laughs> oh, hang on. We've got some bad guys over here. Wow, he's deflecting every single shot. Are you kidding me? Hang on, I've got this. Okay, maybe I don't have got this. Hey, at least I'm invincible now. It doesn't seem to be doing any damage, so that's good. This guy just... He will not... It just won't hurt him. <laughs> Nothing seems to be hurting these guys. Very strange. Oh, now it is. When he turns his back for a second, it hurts him. Very, very strange. What about this guy? What are you up to? Nope, you're still pretty powerful too. Hey, do you mind? Oh, I can pick him up now. Yeah, I right, throw him into here. Yes. Nice job, spawn. And boom. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Yes, and we did it. We stopped another crime spawn. Very nice. Look at him running away. 
It's a shame the cape changes when you fly. Is that for everyone? I want to check that real quick because I believe we're using something similar to the Grand Master's cape. So let me see. Can can he fly? I can't remember if he can fly. Alright, that's weird. So when he flies, you can still see it. But when I fly, it disappears. I know how to Strange. Oh well. Still, at least when you're in combat, which is most of the time, it looks pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Fly, spawn. Right. Let's see which bad guys we can take care of. There's usually some around ancient Egypt. Should be around here somewhere. Ah! What was that? I saw some. There they are. Always picking on that tent. Oh, there's no tent this time. <laughs> They're picking on something. Alright, let's throw them into this. All right, now I want to use this special move on these guys. What? You guys, take this. And this. Let's just take a moment to look how cool look at how cool that looks. I mean, come on, that is just that's just awesome. Yes. Why is this happening? Detected a crime pretty close to you. Hey, wouldn't it be great if this was the last crime ever? You detected a crime, really? I think I just dealt with all of them. I haven't used the teleport ability much, but there you go. He can teleport, he can fly, he can, he's super fast, I mean, he's got it all. Spawn has literally got it all. And there's like a scarab beetle which you can ride around in in ancient Egypt as well. Not sure if I've ever shown you this, but there you go, that's it. This is the beetle you can ride around in. But uh, it's very slow, and we want to be fast, so we're not going to bother with that. Noir New York always has trouble, so let's see what's going on over here. Ah! Mummies. Probably. Right? Look at that! It just takes care of them so quickly. So cool. Boom. And jump! Yeah! Fly, spawn, fly! Hydra HQ? Maybe some bad guys around here, perhaps? I can't remember if there's actually bad guys around here. You'd think there would be. What? She's too young to be removed from the glory of the Empire. Who is that that always says that? Oh, it's like a quest? Let me see. Let me see what this quest is. Oh, no, he's... he's hang on, let me <laughs> quickly kill him and then see what happens. Is it interesting? Or the one who rescued our mask. Oh, come on. This is bigger than you versus us. I think that would be boring. About cute well, not boring, but you know, like I, I just think it wouldn't be interesting for the showcase. Like, I enjoy those missions, but come on, you want action. You want action when you got spawn. I wish I could show the time manipulation abilities, but, you know, there isn't anywhere in the open world, at the moment at least, where any of that is necessary. But, hey, he can do it at least, you know. Here's a car, and throw it. <laughs> and another car, and throw that one. Whoa! Spawns unstoppable. Frozen. Get it? Cause the city's literally frozen? But yeah, I'm also what? snowed under with dead. <laughs> She's snowed under with dead. Chili up here, huh? Like, more chili. He looks really mad after he's done that. Look, look at the face he does, watch. Look at it. Ah, uh, it didn't. You didn't see that. Hang on. Look at his eyes. Like he looks furious. <laughs> I love it. There was some uh, questionable training. Any criminals in Wakanda? Must be some Let's new see. Kind of ancient martial art or something. Another crime. 
Oh, told you. I knew there'd be some crime around here. People always picking on the Wakandans. Not cool. Not cool. I'm gonna deal with them right now. You're a true oh, we took care of them all. The only problem with Spawn is he's so powerful and so fast. He's taking care of the enemies before you even realize. And he's ridiculously fast. It looks it's crazy how fast he is. I has the most frightful stitch. Say, I would have thought there'd be some bad guys around here. Usually is in medieval England. Doesn't seem to be at the moment though. all of a sudden there's like no crime please tell me I haven't like wiped crime out of uh, Chronopolis that would suck I like fighting crime about 2099 anyone in here that we should take on come on oh hang on hello here we go yes so cool. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, guys. So, what I'm going to do now is... I don't usually do this. But seeing as how so how cool Spawn is, you know, th this creation that I've made. I figure, why not, instead of stopping the video now, I'll show a little bit of gameplay in of him in that Doctor Strange mission. So this is going to be a spoiler if you haven't seen the story for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, if you don't want to see it yet and you don't have the game. Fair warning because I'm about to show a mission in the game, but we're going to play Spawn just for a little bit and just see if we can showcase some of his, uh, you know, time manipulation abilities and stuff like that. So we're going to go do that right now. So here we are, we are in the Doctor Strange mission in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. This is of course part of the main story. I believe this one is called... Well, it doesn't seem to want to show me what the mission's called at the moment. But I think it's something rune something. So, I just want to quickly showcase some of uh, Spawn's abilities in the actual mission. Just to show you guys he has time manipulation and all that good stuff. So let's destroy some stuff first. Oh, it's turning against me. You don't stand a chance against the embodiment of chaos. Yeah, just ignore Carnage. <laughs> He's a weirdo. All right. Ah, here we go. So you can see you can create portals and stuff. Well, I think that's like rune creation there, what he just did. Then we can move into here. Crazy situation. Oh, hang on. Is there one of those evil, like, cupboards or something? <laughs> well, it's not cupboards. I don't know. It's like uh, storage. The storage stuff, like, tries to attack you. Oh, here we go. What's in here? Got all the symbiotes helping me right now, because why not? We can see him using his magic. Look at that. This is pretty cool. I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I can show you guys all of this stuff so you can see just how powerful you can make spawn in this game. Because this is definitely one of my favorite characters I've made yet. You know, I didn't think it'd be possible, to be honest. I thought this would be a tough one, but as soon as I saw Black Bolt's uh, torso, I thought, yep, that'll work. So, yeah. Really happy with this one. We should be creating a portal very soon, I believe. I think we're going to smash some stuff here. Yep, and then don't we create a portal or something? Oh yeah, we've got to pull this down first. Let's use Venom 2099. There he is. Very nice. Let's get spawn again. Oh, it's a sand monster from the first game. Ah, can we dig stuff? Oh yeah, we could, couldn't we? Uh, 
I put digging on. Nice! He actually got me a mini kit that I didn't find yet. Awesome. Alright, let's do this. Yeah! That's another one. So that is two. Then we're going to get the other three. So once I've done that, I'll probably wrap this up because... I don't think we're going to fight Baron Mordor because I don't want this video to be too long, you know. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more spawn gameplay and show everything he can do because this is pretty sweet. Alright, let's go through here. Got to be some stuff in here. Aha! This is a time manipulation room. I'm certain of this. Definitely something to do with time manipulation in here. So we'll destroy everything in sight. go boom all right time manipulation here you go so that got me some studs there's some stuff up there apparently oh, I think that's not actually part of the mission though two out of five cool no that's not it we need to uh, rewind time again Keep going. There you go. Very nice. Ah, now there's something up there that it wants us to deal with. What's that about? Oh. Ah, okay. Cool. I'm going to open this. Nope. <laughs> Don't use your powers like that. I'm going to rewind it again. Is that working? Oh no, I'm doing it the wrong way, my bad. Keep going. I think that's as far as you can go, isn't it? Probably. And then we'll do this. That's that sorted, so I think there's only two left. I believe so. Alright. We didn't give him, like, tech tech access, did we? Huh? No, we didn't. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Stay away from me! Alright. Can we go up there? Oh, yes, we can. Completely forgot we could go up here, so there's two left. Let's see if we can find the last two real quick. <laughs> Carnage has the weirdest lines in this. I swear, they've made Carnage really weird. Which is good, because he is weird. Very strange character. Awesome. Alright. I don't think I'm going to bother doing any of this, guys, because, you know, you've seen this in the walkthrough, and I've kind of, you know, shown everything that you can do. But if I can maybe show off the portal, because I'm... Yeah, here we go. I think I should be able to show off the portal ability now. Um, I'm not going to bother doing all those puzzles because, you know, this isn't like a walkthrough or anything. This is just me showing the other abilities of spawn that I can't showcase in the open world. Ah, here we go. Right, let's just get these symbiotes out of the way. You guys go away, please. No, 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 spawn. 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 Stay here, spawn. Venom, you stay there. Okay, here we go. Right, watch this. Stay there, Venom. And there you go. So Spawn just created a portal and a bunch of symbiotes came through it. He also doesn't take damage from that green goo either. That's awesome. He's a very useful character I've made. <laughs> I 
Very useful character. Alright, cool. Alright, guys. So, I think that'll do for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Because I thought this one turned out really cool. So, I just wanted to go the extra mile and actually showcase as many of his abilities as possible. I think I'm about to get attacked. There we go. Not anymore. <laughs> anyway, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.